this person, ladies and gentlemen, is the person who told me, be yourself, Miss Pee Wee, be yourself. This person gave me $25 for my first show when I only thought I was gonna get 10 and has done it for several other people. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lifetime Achievement Award goes to this person you're about to see in our short film. Nancy now because ladies and gentlemen before you you have the ass with class before you you have the most unselfish person in the world I've had a many opportunity in my life and one of those opportunities which was the most important one was meeting Tina DeVore I was lucky enough to come from the Tina DeVore school of drag and you see what it has done for me. You see what it has done for Tina and everybody she has touched. Ladies and gentlemen, the recipient for the Lifetime Achievement Award goes to my drag mother, my sister, my sister in the name of love, my spiritual guider, my mother, my father, my sister, my brother, my cook girl, because you can buy some chicken. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the one and only, our mayor, our mayor of Atlanta, Tina DeVoe, Tina DeVoe. <laughs> Tina, see, see. Tina, I'll hold this for you. Take your time, Tina, take your time. My show. Will you turn the music off? Marsha, will you turn the music off? I got, uh, Tina, you're so powerful. <laughs> Tina, take your time and say whatever you want to say. But we, on behalf of the National Committee, the contestants, the former Miss National, the rating Miss National, the judges, and every gay person in Atlanta, Every heterosexual person in Atlanta, we say it's been a long time coming and thank you for being in our lives. Thank you. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Thank you, I feel terrible I have my back to these people right here. I can't, I, I can't tell you what this award means to me. Um, I, 
been very lucky in that um, I've gotten to do what I enjoy doing for over 20 years here in the city of Atlanta. Um, I'm standing here before you and I accept this wonderful tribute on behalf of many, many wonderful entertainers who are no longer with us. They paved the way, they made it possible for me to be here to accept this award tonight. And we're celebrating Gay Pride, so I wanna just take this moment to say to all of the female impersonators who are in the house tonight that what we do is an art form, it is a profession, and there's too much negativity, there's too much attitude, there's too much backstabbing. We need to be professional, honest, respectful, and try to do what we do with some degree of class. And I challenge each and every one of you tonight to take that home with you and just think about it. And to Chris Dunn and Martin Zabosnik, I thank you so much. And what they have done contributes to the wheel that keeps turning and turning and hopefully getting better and better for the art of female impersonation. Again, I thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the current